Five and a half blocks from the Roosevelt Avenue subway station, just past 79th Street in Jackson Heights, Queens. There's a small bodega, but inside, past the aisles filled with your usual snacks and refreshments, you'll find something unexpected. A small counter dishing out sweet and tangy seafood cocktails, full of plump shrimp and fresh octopus. This is La Esquina del Camarón Mexicano. Meet Pedro Rodriguez, the man serving this delicious Mexican dish. I was 11 years old, 12 years old. I started working with a lady from the coast of Veracruz in Mexico. That was I, I learned to make this kind of, of cocktails. It's something different than the Mexican sells here in New York. Pedro's specialty is making cocktails. In Mexico City, it's traditional to take the cocktail in a cup. We have shrimp. We have an octopus, it's no science. We just boil it. The real flavor comes from the other thing we have. Some clam juice, fresh lime, a little salt, but the secret is the, the tomato sauce that personally I made. That's why the people like this cocktail, because it, it has something different, something special. We put onions, cilantro, and uh, an avocado. Seems simple enough, but what's it all taste like? The flavor is, is difficult to explain. You had it. You gotta try it. Especially the tomato sauce. This uh, have a flavor like a sweet and sour. That's why we add some salt because the salt give it another another touch. It's, it's not not easy for me to explain it. Mm. Yo, that sauce really good. Now let me ask you, can you, can you uh, explain, explain it? <laughs> no, it, the sweet and sour was right yeah, on. Yeah. And then it, it has like an, a lot of acid, like you feel that sour kick, yeah. but it's like a, it's a tasty sweetness too. It's really yeah. good. Because it's authentic, you know? It's, it has a little bit of sweetness, and also you feel like a little spice, very, very mild, but the seafood is awesome. I love it. I had a shrimp yeah. cocktail in Mexico, and this one was better. Yeah, we just Rick went out. to Cabo, no lie, and he was like, I like the one in Queens better. I, I feel grand, uh, wonderful when the people is happy with my food, you know. I'm sorry, I don't know how to explain this, but para mí significa mucho ver a la gente cuando comen y se van satisfechos. Para mí es una gran satisfacción. Me siento bien, me siento, me siento agradable con eso. Pedro started out selling his cocktails from a small stand on the corner in front of the bodega. When I came to this country, I, I was missing my cocktails. I was working on the construction. And construction, you go all the way in the city. And in every place I, I went, I saw a Mexican restaurant and I said, oh, one cocktail, I'm going to try one cocktail. Always it was uh, disappointed, you know, because it's not the same, you know. So I, one day I say, uh, I, I got to sell my own cocktail. Then that's why I start my business selling my cocktail on the street, Saturdays and Sundays. Until one day, the owner of the store made him an offer. He saw the, how the people came inside to buy soda, beer, and everything. So he told me, why don't you open a kitchen inside here? And I said, I'm sorry, but I don't have the money to invest. So he told me, if, if you want, we can put half and half for the kitchen, and we can open it. And for those who don't know where to find it, just turn to the locals. We thought it was going to be in a deli. We're like, wait, where is it? And then we just asked around, and people knew that it was here the people themselves, they recommend me. Every time they come back to buy another one, bring another customer and another customer, so I don't know, they find me. With more space inside the bodega, Pedro could add more dishes to the menu, like these flaky empanadas. They're lightly fried and stuffed with sea bass, split open at the seam and filled with mayo, cilantro, and a slice of avocado. I hope one day I'm going to have a bigger kitchen and I'm going to make all the dishes from Veracruz. But for now, Pedro's happy making cocktails for those who know where to find them. I feel uh, a winner. I feel like I reached my American dream. I, I came here looking for something and I found it. Thanks for the people, you know, because without customers, I'm nothing. But I, I feel that my culture brings something to New York that everybody likes.